Can you get a DUI on an e-bike or e-scooter? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm Dan Joffe, DUI lawyer at Nexlaw. E-bikes and e-scooters have exploded in popularity, raising the question, can you get charged with a DUI on an electronic scooter or riding an electronic bike? The short answer is yes. As an example, in 2020, a criminal court in Toronto convicted a 28-year-old man of a DUI while driving an electronic scooter. He hit a pedestrian and upon arrest was found to have three times the blood alcohol level and was convicted of impaired driving. So this raises the following question. What do the DUI laws say in regards to e-bikes and e-scooters? And the answer is nothing. There is no mention of e-bikes and no mention of e-scooters in the DUI laws under the Criminal Code of Canada. So how can someone get convicted of a DUI while riding an e-bike or e-scooter when they are not mentioned under the impaired driving laws in the Criminal Code? And the answer lies in a different section of the Criminal Code that covers offenses related to conveyances. And the most important word here is conveyance. The Criminal Code defines a conveyance as a vessel, an aircraft, railway equipment, or motor vehicle. Because electronic bikes and electronic scooters are motorized, that motorization places them under the definition of a conveyance because conveyance includes a motor vehicle. And the DUI laws in the Criminal Code are specific in describing DUI offenses in relation to operating a conveyance. So it's the word conveyance which connects Canada's DUI laws to someone riding an e-bike or e-scooter. And one more question we've been asked is, can you get a DUI riding a regular bike? And the answer is no. As I just mentioned, the word conveyance connects our DUI laws to e-bikes and e-scooters. Specifically, it's the motorized aspect of the electronic bikes and scooters that places them under the jurisdiction of the Criminal Code and our DUI laws. Because regular bikes are not motorized, they are therefore not a conveyance and not covered by the Criminal Code of Canada laws. But that does not mean you won't be subject to legal consequences if you were involved in an incident while impaired on a regular bike. It just means you can't be charged with a DUI while operating a regular bike. If you've been charged with drunk driving, DUI, impaired driving, or refusal of breathalyzer test, your legal strategy can make the difference between winning and losing. Reach out, let's have a confidential discussion about your case. The call is free and you can book a time by clicking on a link in the description below.